so a travel late today in uh, 2007. We have split up, it's me and the guys. Uh, now the real vacation begins without the women. No, I'm just joking. Uh, or am I? <laughs> we don't know. Uh, but Alex and uh, Kasper is here. We are going to buy some snacks uh, for the train uh, trip. This is the train called Hasrat uh, Nistamuddin Rajstani Express. It goes between uh, Mumbai and uh, Delhi. And the train is uh, number is 22221. So we booked the first class tickets uh, here. They weren't cheap uh, with Indian standards. I think we paid total, I think the ticket price was 5,000 rupees per person. Then uh, there was some extra fees and so on. So uh, after Casper has bought some snacks here, we are going to try to find our cart. So uh, I think it's coach number 15. I don't know what happened when we were in Delhi last time, but we managed to miss the train there. Uh, however, here it's uh, very good markings. Uh, coach number nine. So we are going to um, to uh, coach 15, I think. We'll try and uh, find someone we can ask here. I have my ticket in my phone here. Confirm TKT. TKT, I think it, the app is called. Yeah, we'll try to ask to this uh, gentleman over here. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hey guys. H1, um, H3. Yeah, I'll say. Okay. H1, 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 so we can hit, uh, let's see if we can try to find. Yep, uh, let's try it. We still have like 40 minutes until the train leaves. Uh, what letter? Here's H. Uh, 23. I think it's over there. Namaste. Is this the right coach? Okay, the first one. Okay, done about. Still none. Do you see number two, three, or four? Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Yep, perfect. Our home for the next, I think, 16 hours. Oh, oh it's nice. Yeah. Uh, mine is three. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll settle down. So the train has uh, left the station uh, on time. 1600 hours. We left Mumbai and we are still in Mumbai, I think. Uh, in the suburbs, uh, it has passed 35 minutes since we uh, left the station and uh, we were given some tables here and uh, some. Uh, food, coffee, tea, uh, some snacks, uh, almonds, uh, some uh, cake. I don't know what this bun. What, what was that, Alex? Some uh, like a potato bun, I think. Potato bun, okay. Some yeah. spicy. Spicy, and we have some. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, it seems like <laughs> the train tracks need some work. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Come on, what? I hope not the train. I hope that the train is not breaking down. Casper's tea uh, made it. That's strange yes. because Alex has less less coffee in his mug. Yeah, so we'll uh, try this. 
see if we can put you on the stand and we'll give you a taste review of the sandwich at least. And before that we were given uh, blankets. Uh, I don't know if you uh, you can see them here, uh, pillows and some towels and uh, some uh, bed sheets. So uh, yeah, everything is in order for tonight. So I think that uh, we're good to go. If not, the train just dropped down. Yeah, we'll see. So uh, taste review of this uh, sandwich then. kind of uh, carrot uh, mixture inside. Not very good, I would say. What do you think, Kasper? It's, uh, it's decent. Decent, yeah. Not bad, not good. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll uh, eat this and uh, maybe we'll give you uh, a review of the other uh, stuff as well. We'll see. Otherwise, see you later. Ho hopefully the train didn't break down. So, uh, bye for now. We are now exactly, I think, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six. On our third, exactly on the third uh, hour of our journey, we were served a bit of soup. Uh, I think this is some kind of um, uh, appetizer for the for the main main meal. Uh, the food is uh, good. A uh, bit spicy, uh, well, well done. Together with that, you have some uh, breadsticks as well. So nothing special, more than uh, more than uh, that's that is good. So um, let's see what's for dinner. So even if it was uh, appetizer, it has been passed. Uh, it, it has passed one and a half hours since the last update uh, we did. So uh, here we have gotten our food. I don't know if it's uh, if we have gotten all our food yet, but this is what we got so far. Some uh, uh, paneer, I think. I haven't tasted it anything. Some uh, vegetable uh, mixture, mixed with uh, masala, I think. Uh, some oh yeah, I don't lentil soup, I think, some kind and. Uh, what are these called? Paratas, roti. Uh, I can't, I can't remember which. Uh, but Alex has begun. How did it taste? It's good, good, uh, good season. Yeah. Yeah, not too, not too spicy. Not too spicy. That's good. Yeah. And the Casper, you have not started yet. Yeah. We will give you a review of the food. Uh, I can begin. Uh, I should just just put up my bag, so I will sanitize my hands first. Very important part of the eating ritual in India for us Westerners. I wish they could serve this 
tender food on my commute to work every day, every morning. So, yeah, we'll finish up here. I think this might be the last meal for uh, for the evening. If not, we will show you that as well. Maybe some tea afterwards. Yeah, we'll see. See you later. So the time is now half past eleven, and uh, I think it's time to go to bed. But I will show you uh, a bit about how the train looks. So this is the the hallway to the first class cabins. Some nice paintings of Gandhi and some flowers uh, curtains if it's too bright in the morning and we also have some um, bathroom and uh, yeah I don't think okay so yeah, apparently we have uh, showers as well I will show you over here at, at the end of our end of the train. It's very, very <laughs> bumpy. It will be interesting how to sleep in this. And sometimes <coughs> the train makes these really weird uh, stops. Or st not stops, but like very sudden breaks or something. But uh, this is how the this is how the western toilet looks. I mean, it's it's not first class by European standards, but I think it's okay anyway. If you prefer the Indian style, then you have this squat toilet. So uh, yeah. The only thing that we are, are happy with is that uh, we have an AC in our uh, cabin. So, hello, hello! <laughs> and uh, the only thing that we are not very fond of is the sound and the cold from the AC. It's, uh, I think it's too cold. And we have asked uh, like eight times if it's able to turn it off and nobody really speak very good English so they nod the head and they walk away and uh, yeah it's but I think we'll manage it, it won't be that cold so uh, now have, I have made my bed pretty okay uh, there is uh, a part where you fold it down so you get a wider bed than you have when you sit down but uh, otherwise it's uh, kind of cozy now we have set the alarms for uh, 7.30, no, 6.30 in the morning. So uh, I hope we wake up, otherwise we will miss Agra tomorrow. Uh, and uh, before I go to bed I will also check that how much the train is late. Because there are no announcements uh, in the speakers. But if you Google train 22.22.1 live tracking then you get the actual uh, tracking uh, not often not more than five minutes old about the current status of the train and uh, when I last checked we was uh, half an hour late and the train yesterday arrived to Delhi five hours later than expected so I think delays are uh, somewhat usual uh, on this line at least probably also in India in general but uh, yeah we'll see you tomorrow uh, so uh, good night for now and uh, have a good night good morning from uh, outside uh, 10 kilometers outside Agra and we have um, woken up a few hours ago uh, not the way that we would have woke, <laughs> like to work, wake up but I mean it was very bad sleep tonight and I suppose that the uh, cold was <laughs> the most uh, hard thing to cope with during the night. Uh, it was uh, really cold and still is. That's why we uh, are having uh, the, our thick clothes on. We have uh, received uh, breakfast here and uh, the butter is uh, 
cold that you can't uh, put it on your bed. Yes, I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, here we have the omelette that we ordered. And uh, I mean, the, the sleep in general wasn't uh, that good because it's a uh, push pull train. So when the front train uh, uh, lacks speed in the hills upward, the back train is pushing and then it creates a, a really bad uh, shock through the whole train. So it's really hard to sleep, but that's, uh, that's okay. Um, the cold was uh, worse. So, uh, yeah, um, not the greatest experience. I wouldn't uh, do this uh, again if I wouldn't have to, I, I, would, I would say. Um, and, but now they actually seem to have uh, turned off the AC uh, because the AC was on during the night and it was uh, even colder than I think. But otherwise, uh, the food has uh, been very good throughout the trip. And uh, yeah, we are going to enjoy the food now while it's warm. And, um, and um, let's get back to when we, uh, we are approaching Agra. Finally off the, off, off the train in Agra and we are five hours late. And uh, yeah, this is the train then, 22-22-1. And this is the cart we were riding with, the uh, H1 car, cart that you see here. So, um, yeah, five hours late. Uh, we didn't mind the actual delay, delay that much, but the cold during the night was really awful. So, yeah, if you're going to travel this time of year, then uh, make sure that you bring a lot of clothes. clothes. Otherwise, it was a good experience. Actually, uh, the the food was uh, very good, especially especially the the hot meal that we main course that we got uh, yesterday. So uh, yeah, that concludes our review of the. I uh, I can't remember the name of the uh, train line. I, I will put it down here, and uh, the train number is twenty two twenty two one. So see you in the next video.